Hey guys, what's going on? So we got another no start situation. Chrysler's 300C 2011, 5.7 liter Hemi. Uh, so we had it trickle charging. Okay. It's like 75%. Uh, well, we're gonna keep it on there. Looks like it's on. There you go. So it's trickle charging right now, just to make sure that the battery is not the issue. Okay. So we have a no crank, no start, no click situation. So if you watch, it's gonna it's gonna start. We have eyes. We have eyes. Okay, ready? Uh, remote start to say we'll start for you. It's gonna reset. Okay, so I tried re uh, starting it with the remote start. That didn't work. All right? You hear the fuel pump, so it's not the fuel pump. Right? No start. Oh, hear that? Nothing. So this could very well be a connection at the starter, but uh, we had that checked a few weeks ago at a, at a shop and they connected it. Uh, this could also be, holy. Nothing. All right, so we're gonna leave it on the trickle charger. Okay. So we're gonna do that, that's fine. Close that. Now the next thing to do, is take a look at our little diagram, starting diagram. Shopkey Pro, thank you CMF shop for printing this out for me. So we're gonna diagnose this. So the front power distribution center, so at the fuse box in the front. So here's our starter, right? I'm actually gonna go check the starter relay. Okay, I'm gonna show you where the location that is right is right now. So the starter relay. Look at it in front. Okay. Right over here. Diagram uh, on the right side, relay rad, no, nope. relay starter, top right, on that right end, and then uh, relay general run slash start. So we kind of have two, so it's technically this one and this one. Now the good thing is, if you noticed, right over here, part numbers are the same so we're just gonna pull this one out we're gonna start with this one ignition relay start slash run we're gonna take this one take it to the parts store and give it a try now we could you know exchange it and whatnot but i want to get a, a new one just to play around with right we'll see how that goes um i already did trying different ones but you know what, I'm just not sure. So we're gonna go do that. Anyways, that's where that is. So that's an episode. <laughs> All right, that's right there. Okay. Also, we're uh, trickle charging too right now. So we're gonna eliminate that. And let's go to the shop. All right, we're back in the parts shop. Now, just uh, want to go over a few things. All right, so here is our OEM uh, starter ignition solenoid. So 0472-7370-AA-50732. All right, so here we got our new one. Okay, that's the part number. So let's go ahead and give it a try. See if it starts. Okay. 
right. There we go here. And again, let's review starter relay. Now, I'm going to leave the phone here, because you're supposed to hear it click. So it only goes in one way. Like this. There you go. Let's give that a try. Now I'm going to set this thing right here. You're supposed to also hear it click. So let's see if it does that. guys hear any clicking because it didn't start that's fine anyways let's go ahead and try the actual top one let's see, starter relay which is the very top one yeah very top one starter relay. so again same part number let's switch do a bit of a switcheroo here Careful. Okay. Maybe this one's the bad one. Okay. Nope. Nope. There we go. Start. Turn this off. Let's see. All right, put that away. All right. On to the next. This stuff. Like I mentioned before, we have this baby trickle charging. 